Metro Transit Police have launched an internal investigation to get to the bottom of what happened in this video. It's very disturbing and hard to watch. An unarmed man was tased over the weekend while trying to defend two teenagers. This all happened on Saturday inside the U Street Metro stop, and that is where we find our Michael Quander live this morning. Michael, what do we know so far? Yeah, Annie, that video is just crazy. You know, it blew up on social media over the weekend. And so far, here's what we know. Police say this all happened because they got a report that some kids were threatening customers with a stick inside of this metro station. When they got there, they detained those boys to try to get to the bottom of what happened. A man walks up, trying to defend them. And well, things escalated from there. That is not necessary. Yo, that is not necessary. He's not even resistant. The video is hard to watch. Stop, yo, let him go! Metro Transit Police tasing a man inside of the U Street Metro Station. Complete shock. The man had done nothing. It all went down around 6 Saturday night. Witnesses say the man in this video was defending two teenagers who police stopped inside of the station. A nice gentleman came and tried to help out, make sure he was okay. And while he was talking to the other two police officers and the child, um, a secondary police officer came running down the stairs and laid his hands on him, um, which is where we got that video from, of him being tased. Hey, hey. Metro Transit Police say the man, quote, exhibited behavior consistent with preparing to fight the officer and was warned to back off. They say he didn't, so officers tased him. This whole situation could have turned into something like completely different, and I honestly like just thank God that I happen to be there. I think it's important that we hold the police accountable for what they're doing. Uh, I had been about as close to the kid previous to that and the fact that the police never gave me any problem but gave him a problem it really highlights for, for you just um, the sort of privilege white people live with in this. Now, it is important to note that the two boys who were uh, at the center of all of this, neither of them were heard or arrested. We can tell you that we spoke to one of their mothers yesterday, and she tells us that they are now empowered to use their voices to hold police accountable. Reporting live this morning on U Street in Northwest D.C., I'm Michael Quander, WUSA 9. Back to you, Annie. All right, Michael, thank you.